temperature is rising Cause you my medicine for me Hey guys welcome back so i already did my brows off camera as usual and i'm gonna go ahead and apply my remix day matte primer um this primer is very good for oily skin so i'm just gonna apply that before i this time around i'm going to do my eyes before i do my foundation so i'm gonna apply my primer and do my foundation then we can go to the eyes these days i am into simple glam nothing too major so yeah guys so guys as you can see i'm applying my remove stay matte primer and this primer as i said earlier on is very good for oily skin so if you have dry skin i don't think this primer is going to be a good idea so right now as you can see i'm applying my juvia's place palette um this is in the color oru um i don't know if i'm mentioning the name right but it's o r o and i'm applying it as the transitioning color and then i'm just blending the eyeshadow on my crease next i'm blending the color rush on top of the transitioning color and this is going to define my crease and it's going to give me like a smoky effect And I'm also going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette eyeshadow and this is in the color Mock Shot and I'm using that to define my crease. Moving on, I'm going in with my Colourpop glitter and this Colourpop glitter is called Outside the Line and I'm also using my Wet n Wild eyeliner and I'm just lining my eye. Next, I'm using my Wet n Wild mascara and I'm cleaning my eyelashes and also defining my eyelashes as well. Moving on, I'm applying my lashes and this lashes is from Amazon. If you are interested in these lashes, I'm going to leave the link in the info section. So I'm also going in with my foundation and I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And this is in the color 360. This is um, oil to dry skin. And I really do love this, um, how do we call it, foundation because this foundation is full coverage and it doesn't break me out, so yes. Please, when blending your foundation, make sure you do take your time and blend the foundation into your skin because blending is the key to beautiful makeup. Next, I'm going to highlight my face using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this concealer is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but that is what I prefer. I prefer my concealers to be lighter than my skin tone yeah more lighter than my original skin tone so that my highlighted areas will pop I forgot to mention when I applied my concealer, I let it sit for like a minute before I started blending. Um, by doing that, it gives me a full coverage. Now 
now i'm contouring my nose guys my daughter is right behind me making a mess so <laughs> yeah just so you know i can see her behind me making a mess but i wasn't you know i wasn't gonna stop her because i was so busy so i'm applying my fenty beauty matchstick and i'm using that to contour i usually don't like to use a matchstick to contour my face unless if i'm going for a very defined makeup look um like i mean a heavy makeup look but if i'm going for a natural look i only use my cover girl queen bronzer and it gives me this natural look so right now i'm going in with my maybelline fits me um powder and this is in the color 360 and i'm using that to set my concealer if i do that um, before using my setting powder this helps me a lot it doesn't make my face crease but when i use the setting powder straight onto my concealer it um it makes my face crease and i don't like that Look. so right now i'm going in with my cover girl cream bronzer and i'm contouring my face i'm bronzing my face giving me a definition on my face because as you can see i have a very big round face i hate 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 how my face look but this helps define my face so right now i'm just going in with my sasha buttercup setting powder and i'm just setting my face using that and this is gonna make my highlighted areas pop moving on to the eyes i'm defining my waterline using my mary Kay eyeliner Underneath my eyes, I'm using a darker shade from my Morphe palette to define my lower lash line. And I'm just blending the eyeshadow to give me a smoky effect. So now I'm going to define my lower lashes using my mascara. So guys, all the product that I'm using in this video will be listed in the info section. So if you are interested in the product that I'm using, just check them out. Onto my lips, I'm using my wet and wild lip pencil and I'm just defining my lower and upper lips. And I'm also going to go in with my Estate Cosmetic Lipstick and I'm just using that on top of the lip liner. And I'm also going in with my NYX Lip Gloss. So right now I'm checking myself. I really do love the outcome. I love the glitter. I never tried this glitter and I've had this glitter for a while. So right now I'm just highlighting my nose using my... Um, Juvia's Place highlighter and I'm also giving myself a blush using my Juvia's Place palette So uh, I really do love this blush. It's not like a blush. It's like a eyeshadow But I use it as a blush, you know be creative So guys this is the finished look i actually love the outcome it's bomb it's super bomb i did that you know i love it thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more videos like this make sure to thumbs up subscribe and also turn on your notification button for more upcoming videos thank you so much stay blessed stay safe bye